Mario Maker 2 was such a huge game for Nintendo. I mean, the first game was huge too, but it was left on the Wii U, but Mario Maker 2 on a really good console obviously showed just how big this game could be. Allowing anyone to make any type of levels that their heart desires was really amazing, and it's something that I cannot see a future with not having some type of Maker game, you know? And we think about Zelda Maker and Kirby Maker, and most of the devs say they don't have that plan, so it seems like right now it's just sticking with Mario. Whether Mario continues to go the 2D route or eventually journeys into to the 3D route, there's so many things I still think they can do, adding new enemies, course parts, and even level things. But there's something in particular that is really going to make Mario Maker 3 stand out, and that is the game styles. To me, I wish Mario Maker 2 actually had more than just one brand new game style, which was the Mario 3D World one. That one kind of came out of nowhere to see Mario 3D World, but in a 2D game section was kind of interesting. And it got me thinking once again, for the next Mario Maker, what is Nintendo going to have to do if they choose to go the 2D route again? They can't just add one more game style. I feel like they need to add a lot more than just that. I'm talking having two or three new game styles at the least for this new game, and I'd really be interested to see where they would pull from from this next one. And that's why I kind of made up a list of, yeah, 13 different game styles that they could actually put into this game. And you might be thinking to yourself, there's no way, there's not even that many Mario game styles that we could go with. I may not be sticking with just Mario, and I'll talk about what I'm meaning in, you know, when I get there towards the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, I came up with 13 brand new game styles that I think would be really cool to see in Mario Maker 3. So I'll be going through each one briefly, talking about what it would actually add to the game and what makes it so different from the rest of the game styles. But before we continue, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in each and every single day, but a lot of you watching this video right now are not yet subscribed. We're going to go on a massive goal here, and let's see if we we can get 200 or even 300 brand new subscriptions from this video alone. If you love Mario Maker, show me. Let's try to reach a goal, uh, but let's jump into the video of 13 brand new game styles we could see in the next Mario Maker installment. First off on our list, we have Super Mario Land. Now, honestly, I probably could combine the first two, but they are kind of different looking games. Well, I'm not going to say kind of, they're, they're drastically different because Mario Land 1 is very old, and you can tell, and the sprites and everything are very old, but why in the world would we want this in Mario Maker? Honestly, I can't tell you much, but I can tell you that the level themes are pretty cool and all surround around some type of desert, which is actually Sarasa Land, so you could have lots of desert themed levels or like the desert tombs down below, and there could be some some interest there. You could also have maybe have a black and white level theme, uh, which none of the other styles would give you. But honestly, I'm, I'm trying to draw together what else this could actually add. And I'm sorry, I can't really find nothing for the original game. But let's just jump into the next one because I think there's more potential there. Now with Super Mario Land 2, there's a lot more things going on. The art style is bumped up a bit. You can maybe add color to the Mario Maker version. There's lots of new enemies, even boss battles, and just wacky locations. For one, you can actually be Spaceman Mario. Mario and technically walk on the moon. Each world has its own new vibe and mechanic as well, and I feel like this level style wouldn't conflict with the other level styles. So I feel like it would kind of match with the others, so it wouldn't be its own separate thing like Mario 3D World is, and it would just have a different color scheme and of course look slightly different than the rest. But honestly, I think these level styles could be fun. You could even have Mario in his airplane for those specific levels, but I think there's a lot that can be done here and just give it a nice retro look that's just fun to play. Like the original Super Mario Brothers doesn't do anything super crazy but I think just having that retro gameplay could be a lot of fun for people. Now, I'm not gonna lie, if we end up getting a Mario Maker 3 and Super Mario Bros. 2 isn't included, I'm starting to wonder what's wrong with Nintendo. I know it strays away from the usual Mario Bros. games, but man, it's so much fun and it has such a big fan base, and it just like seems like this is one game style that people are really wanting and asking Nintendo for, and instead they gave us a mushroom that turns us into Super Mario Bros. 2 Mario, which doesn't help the case. I feel like it'd be really fun to make levels based more on exploration this time around, as we have to crawl on vines and look around for specific ways out of a cave or something, would be really, really cool. Now, yes, it would probably be its own separate style like Mario 3D World is, because there's lots of different mechanics of stepping on enemies and picking them up and doing things along those lines, and the boss battles work in completely different ways with completely different bosses, but that's not a big issue. I don't see that being something incredibly difficult for them to do. I mean, once again, Mario 3D World's in its own separate thing, they definitely could do it from Mario Brothers 2, and it's just a classic. It's one of the classics that's just missing from Mario Maker, and it just needs to be there. Now here's where we start to dip our toe in technically different franchises, but Yoshi's Island I think would work really well. And I just think being able to play as Yoshi in 2D Mario levels in Mario Maker would be cool, 
all because of the fact that he gets to throw his egg. I can see this being like a little extension or maybe even a DLC where it's just like a Yoshi's Island DLC. Once again, being a separate gameplay style than the rest, like Mario 3D World is, where you're able to run around a really beautiful world that's all kind of designed with that Crayola look in the background with the crayons and colored pencils, um, with some new enemies and maybe even some new boss battles would be really, really cool. I think just playing with Yoshi and his egg throwing capabilities is enough to make some really cool level parts for people. I mean, imagine like setting up a level where you have to have really good egg shots and stuff, and if you miss all your eggs or something, you have to, you know, die and restart. Or you can have levels built around Yoshi's transformations, like his plane or even a car, where you can actually play through a level as these transformations for a little while, would be just awesome. I would love this. Is it likely? Not as much as the rest, I think, but I think this would still be a great addition. I love the art style. I love the fact of just playing with Yoshi, and I think some levels with people actually making some really cool levels with the eggs in mind would be really awesome. Next up, we have New Super Mario Brothers DS. Yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like it'd be cool to see one based on the DS game because it does look completely different than the other New Super Mario Brothers games. And I guess you could technically say this also for the others that are technically not named in Mario Maker. Like, for instance, New Super Mario Brothers 2 does look slightly different as well. But I really want to stick with New Super Mario Brothers DS. I think there's a lot of course parts and things that we didn't see return in the other New Super Mario Brothers games, including enemies and even boss battles. And I don't know, it had a certain style to it that I just really miss. Like I said, there's just stuff happening in this game that's not happening in other games. For instance, you have the sand dunes kind of moving up and down when you hit a P-switch. Or just other moving parts, like moving mushrooms or moving pipes would be really cool. But yeah, I would love to see something along those lines. And like I said, New Super Mario Brothers 2 could also be thrown in the mix because it has a slightly different art style. But I don't think Nintendo's going to do these because technically they already have a New Super Mario Brothers style in the game. And I don't think they're going to do another New Super Mario Brothers. I think it's just all grouped together now. All right, let's get crazy. Yes, you're seeing the screen right. This is Mario 64 in Mario Maker. So straight off the bat, I still would love to see something like this in a 3D Mario Maker. I think it'd be awesome. But I still think they could do this in 2D as well. Look, they did it with Mario 3D World, a prominently 3D Mario game. Now, I know this one's slightly different because it's a sandbox, almost like open zone Mario game. Uh, but it would still work just putting Mario in 2D and giving him the same moveset that he has in that game. Meaning his triple jump, he can do a side flip, a back flip, crouch, crawl, all that jazz. But in 2D now, he can wall kick and stuff and it just feels like Mario 64, but in 2D. You can hop into cannons, you can grab owls in order to fly through the air, and shoot, with Rainbow Ride, you can pretty much turn the whole entire world into a 2D Mario game. The way you're just kind of jumping and platforming at the side when you're riding that magic carpet. Um, but yeah, you'd also have your punch and kicks, which would be completely different than anything we have now in Mario Maker, meaning you can punch and kick enemies around. And then you could place at the end of the level a power star for the player to reach, or place it wherever you want that the player has to actually get to. Whether it's just platforming on a vertical straight up level or something, but yeah, I think this would be awesome. I think it could definitely work. And if you have Mario 64, why not have Super Mario Sunshine? So once again, Mario will have his moveset being able to now dive and do like his twirl jump and all that stuff, but he also has flood and maybe there's different flood attachments you can actually pick up like the rocket nozzle to blast up high into the sky or the propeller nozzle in order to kind of just run through the level as fast as you can. But all you really need is the hover nozzle and the regular spray nozzle and you can like spray enemies back or maybe spray gunk off of walls or you can just place walls that have gunk on them or floor tiles that have gunk on them um, and you have to like spray them in order to move on. I think there could be some cool stuff with that. This is extremely unlikely. I do not think it's going to happen, but I think it would be pretty cool. And I think you could have some fun boss encounters with like PD Piranha, since it's technically in Mario Brothers DS. And you could also have like Gooper Blooper, we had to pull his tentacles and his mouth again, uh, but just in the 2D section. I think this stuff would be great. Slap a shine sprite at the end of the level, this could happen. And if you have 64 in Sunshine, why not have Super Mario Galaxy? Now, I've talked about this one a lot, and I think this one is the most reasonable, and I think they could do some really cool things with, with this. Just having the gravity mechanic in 2D Mario would be really cool, where you can place like little planetoids all over the level and you can just run around them in a 2D way. There are actually lots of levels in Mario Galaxy and even Mario Galaxy 2, which predominantly has Mario in 2D segments. Uh, even like the Bowser's Castle levels or Bowser's Reactor levels, whatever you call them, um, Road to Bowser. Yeah, they all have like a lot of 2D sections and stuff with gravity mechanics and, you know, arrows on the back walls, which throw Mario in specific 
specific directions. So this could definitely work in Mario Maker. It would obviously be a different game style though. Um, obviously having Mario being able to do the spin attack and his backflip and you know all the jazzy moves that he can do in that game. They can, can just combine it with Mario Galaxy 2 and have all the power-ups from both of those games. You can have Yoshi and all Yoshi's fruit power-ups. You can have Boulder Mario. You can have Boo Mario, Spring Mario, B Mario, and just have all these cool power-ups in 2D this time. And yeah, I think it would be awesome just to have Mario kind of just fly through space or you could connect launch stars and planets or something to have him fly to a specific planet once you get into that launch star. There's a lot they can do and I would love to see something like this. And if you have Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario 3D World, let's have Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I would love a Super Mario Odyssey just 2D game. I, I can't really explain it, but I just think being able to transform or just copy enemies and just being able to turn into them and play a 2D level as that enemy would be so amazing. Could you imagine being able to fly like up and down as a bullet bill in 2D and just kind of like go through like specific holes in the walls that players create or turn into a Goomba and stack up or get through a level as a Goomba the entire time or turn into a Cheep Cheep and have a really good, really fun underwater level made. There's so much you can do and I think that would be seriously endless possibilities to have as you can just make levels designed around these enemies and people would just want more enemies because it would greatly add to what you could do in the game because those new enemies are like new movesets for Mario. It probably would be a lot to program once again having new movesets and stuff for Mario but you can make them incredibly basic and it would be so cool. I actually think I want this one the most because it has so much potential being able to be different characters in Mario. And just simply having the moveset capabilities adds so much more to Mario Maker. It adds so much more to a 2D Mario game by throwing your hat or jumping off your hat mario being able to dive roll now that's just huge being able to roll around the stage and stuff there's so much they can do and i really just would love to see this actually come to fruition Ooh, or what if they did some combination thing where you could actually go into little pipes and go back into a flat 2d portion too even though you're already in 2D, it, you know what I mean? It'd be really cool. Or maybe they just make a whole game style out of the 2D version from Mario Odyssey. I don't know. It looks a little bit different. I, yeah. Look, they could do something with that. I know. I know. I hear you guys screaming through your phones or tablets or TVs, whatever you're watching this on. But yes, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It just makes all loads of sense to have this as a game style because it's like the new form of 2D Mario. This is the one that I think everyone's going to be expecting after just getting Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And there's just so much goodness in this game. I mean, being able to once again pick up items and throw them up in the air or do things with them like you could in Super Mario World, having new moveset capabilities, like for instance, having the badges would be really cool. Maybe players can actually choose what badges they have for the players on their own level that they make uh, you could have so many different things that elephant power up the drill power up the bubble power up brand new enemy I mean we could just keep going with this game and of course the thing that makes Mario wonder so wonderful is the wonder effects how would they incorporate this though into Mario Maker that's hard to say maybe there's like a preset like 10 or 15 maybe even 20 different wonder effects that you get to choose from that doesn't mess up the game too much just some baseline stuff like for instance maybe making some things move around the stage or you know making zero gravity happen or maybe speeding up slowing down the stage just doing some things that's easy to be implemented with any type of level that's designed so yeah that would be a pretty technical marvel i feel like for nintendo to allow us to mess with wonder flowers so i, I don't know how likely that would be but I still think there's some amazing things that could come from a Mario Wonder game style. I think it could happen. I think it would be awesome. If you thought we were out of games, no, you're, you're, you're definitely wrong. Because Mario vs. Donkey Kong just came out. And I could not believe that this game did not have any sort of level editor. It just feels like it. All the platforms and blocks and objects of the stage are just so big and bulky. It just looks like you could just slap everything there and make your own level. I am really hoping there is a possibility that the reason we didn't get a level editor for Mario vs. Donkey Kong is because it's coming in a Mario Maker game, like a Mario Maker 3 game. I, I don't know. Maybe it's like a whole game based around this for Mario vs. Donkey Kong. It's hard to say. But I think building levels like this would be awesome because it's more than just getting to the goal. It's about literally finding a unique way to get to the door, whether you need to collect everything or just find the key or find the mini Mario in order to take them to the door or just simply finding the mini Mario. Maybe you get to choose the objective 
objective, whether it's a door or whether it's just the mini Mario ending. But I seriously think it would be pretty awesome just to have some really clever level designs and just having more of a puzzle element this time around instead of a platforming one. And then you could have some Donkey Kong boss fights. I mean, all the DK boss fights are extremely basic. And I feel like you would actually have more say so in how the boss works this time around, though. Having more platforms or, you know, specific barrels that you place that the player has to reach in order to throw it at Donkey Kong. I, you know, the more I talk about this one, this one sounds the most realistic and the one that would probably be really cool for a lot of people. I mean, just going through puzzle-filled levels and stuff, uh, this should definitely happen. And just like Yoshi's Island, this is one where we're really stepping out of the Mario box, where there's no real baby Mario or Yoshi or anything like that. We're talking about Wario. Yes, what if we actually got some type of expansion that said like Mario Maker 3 plus Wario Land Maker or something, where it actually added some Wario Land styles, whether it's just a couple or just one that kind of blends one through four. These games are a bit different than Mario games. They're a little wacky and quirky for sure, where Wario for one has a shoulder bash where you can bust through blocks, which would be pretty cool, and he can also pick up and throw different enemies. Now I'm a bit biased where I believe Wario Land 3 is the best, it's definitely my favorite, and in that game you had to go find a colored key and match it with the colored chest. So maybe it's something like that. You grab a key and you have to find the chest somewhere in the level. So instead of just busting your way from the beginning to the end, it's once again a puzzle platformer where you have to, you know, explore around the area, move along the left side of the stage, move along the right side of the stage, the top, the bottom, and go around looking for the key. And you have to do specific things in order to reach the key where you can have like hidden passageways and stuff that you have to run through. This could be really fun. I know a lot of people still see Wario Land 4 as the best and I can definitely see why. And I think this would be very unique as well because not only are you focusing on building a level that takes you to the end, but you also have to build a level that you can go through backwards and complete the level by going to the beginning. I think this would be awesome. Now, would Nintendo like allow us to add things after we get to the end to the stage to help us get back? Because I noticed some little things will change. Also, just having Wario's weird transformations and either giving them lives or maybe you can just do no lives like Wario Land 3 that just transforms Wario into different things when he gets damaged. So, who knows? But I think a Wario Land Mario Maker kind of, you know, expansion pack or something would be really cool. And then the final one I have for today is Paper Mario. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what? Okay, hear me out. So, Super Paper Mario was actually a 2D adventure platformer, believe it or not. It wasn't really an RPG, if anything. Um, so yeah, you could run around the world, hit blocks, and just move around in 2D space. Yes, Mario had the ability to go into 3D sections as well. That probably won't be a thing in Mario Maker, but simply just having that art style of Paper Mario and the mechanics of it, would be pretty cool, and maybe you could even give Mario little partners or pixels and stuff from Super Paper Mario that he could use. But yeah, it would just be in this really pretty looking paper art style, or maybe they can make it more in the art style of the modern Paper Mario games, more papery and just have that. Yeah, I think some people would really enjoy this art style. I know I would for sure, and I just think it'd be really cool to see a Paper Mario style in Mario Maker. It'd be weird, it's definitely not gonna happen, but you know, I thought I'd bring it up. And those are all the game styles that I think we could get in the next Mario Maker game. Definitely comment down below what you think of some of these styles and if you agree with them or disagree with them or is there any styles that I missed that could work as well. Let me know down below and make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out and like always I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.